The Palouse is still mourning and trying to understand how the tragedy of four young people murdered could have happened so close to home. Some students that never felt like they had to worry about unprovoked violence are now taking extra steps to ensure their safety. When I leave home, I always make sure to lock my door, especially with all these big Idaho murders happening and all the crazy shit going on. Brian Koberger, the WSU PhD candidate who's now charged with four counts of murder. Brian, is it going? Presenting murder suspect Brian Koberger, accused murderer Brian Koberger. Brian Koberger in a Moscow, Idaho courtroom. I'm about one street over from Greek Curve right now, and as you can tell, it's pretty dark. There's minimal street lighting, and as far as I can tell, no emergency phones in sight. So it's easy to understand why some students are worried about going out at night, especially with everything that's been going on. There's some students that even hold resentment towards WSU officials over their downplaying of the situation that happened in the previous month. University handled the situation. I mean, he was on campus with us and they said everything was fine. After the murders in Moscow, WSU officials assured that there was no risk to students here. One reality, the main suspect in the quadruple homicide was working just a stone's throw away from the Cub in Wilson Short Hall. After the murders, the suspect Koberger finished his semester on campus working in the Department of Criminal Justice and Criminology. It's safe to assume he was in contact with many people in his department as well as the WSU community as a whole. So what can you do if you're worried about something like this happening to you? Well, first and foremost, keep your doors locked. You could try purchasing a ring doorbell. Most importantly, be aware of your surroundings and try not to be walking alone at night. This is Bradley Gordon from Murrow News 8. Stay safe out there, Cougs.